Sonny Sixkiller is a living legend to Washington Huskies fans. We caught up with Sonny in Seattle, where his reputation as a Native American athlete is still larger than life, and where he uses his fame to make a difference in the lives of others. Sonny hit the scene in 1970. This guy comes along, Sonny Six Killer. The name was cool, the six jersey. It, uh, you know, you score a touchdown, it's six points. I mean, he just had all that thing to initially draw attention to himself. And then he backed it up on the field. He did so much to, to really revitalize uh, the UW football program. But for me as an 11-year-old, he was just cool. All right, my name is Sonny Sixkiller. Went to the University of Washington, played football for them, um, and then uh, bounced around professionally for a long time. Did a movie with Burt Reynolds in The Longest Yard. Did a Hawaii Five-0 with Jack Lord. Currently working with uh, Learfield IMG, Associate GM, working with the University of Washington Athletic Program, and uh, proud to be a Cherokee Nation citizen. Primarily Northeastern Oklahoma, uh, in Stillwell's where my, my dad and mom moved us out of there to go to, to the West Coast. My biggest memory of Oklahoma to me as a, as a child was going back, my mom, visiting my mom's relatives uh, and my dad's, going back there and just to my aunt's house that was up on these little pillars, no electricity, no running water, and, and sleeping in spring beds with kerosene lanterns. I was like, I'm going, I remember as a kid laying there going, where's the TV? <laughs> you know, I think growing up in the um, 50s and uh, early 60s, it was the three main sports, obviously, football, basketball, baseball. Ever since I can remember, I've been able to throw and um, throw quite well. Um, and for my age group, I was probably above the average, obviously. I figured if, if I played well enough, um, things would take care of themselves. Junior year, I started getting some interest from a few colleges, and, and in those days, there really wasn't that. And to get a college scholarship was a big deal. I mean, a really big deal. Recruiting coach uh, came down to visit <clears throat> my senior year during the season, uh, watched tape, and then um, came back for two other visits to watch me play basketball, and then decided to give me an offer for a full ride. The Huskies had won the Rose Bowl in 1964, and between 64 and 69, there was a lot of change um, everywhere, you know. It was a tough time in Seattle at the time, and um, my, my freshman year, there was a billboard downtown Seattle that said, hey, last person in Seattle, turn out the lights. <laughs> I went, oh, wow, what are we gonna do here now? Well, the year before, uh, Washington was a horrible football team. They were one and nine and needed some type of spark and it turned out to be sunny and made an instant impact to the degree. He was so good at throwing the football, they really changed um, what they did offensively. The varsity ended up playing, it's called a wishbone. Basically, it's a run offense, right? Well, we did it our first game and we got killed in our first freshman game. Came back, implemented some passing plays of which I was gonna be the starting quarterback. And we go down to Eugene, uh, my freshman year, and I threw like a 59 yard touchdown, you know, one of those long and deep and high. And uh, we never did the wishbone again. Washington goes from one and nine in 1969 to six and four in Sonny's uh, sophomore year. And there was really no one that had a greater role in that turnaround um, than Sonny Sixkiller, which of course added uh, to his legend at the time and the fact that that legend remains very strong to this day. I couldn't go anywhere after my first game as a sophomore without being torn apart. Like, somebody wanted a piece of you, somebody wanted to take you here, somebody wanted this, would you sign this, would you do this? I couldn't go to the local hamburger stand with my friends because it'd just be like, Wah. I stayed in the car. When that was taken, um, I didn't want to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. And I told the athletic department I didn't want to do it. And then after practice one day, our sports and information director grabbed me and goes, hey, Sonny, I want you to meet somebody. I said, who is it? He goes, come on over. 
And he, he goes, I, I want to introduce you to Roy Blount Jr. He, he's a writer for Sports Illustrated. And I went, Mark? He goes, just go with it. So that's how it happened. I didn't really want to do it because it's, I felt like it was putting me above the team. And, but in retrospect, um, I'm glad it, it happened because I'm one of only two Huskies ever to be a feature story on Sports Illustrated. And as far as I know, the only Native American quarterback to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. When I travel around or I'm out and about, and obviously, uh, you know, people say, hey, are you Native? Yeah, hey, me too. I, I think that the, the young Native kids that would come to the games, I made sure if we were on that end of the field, I made sure I got a good wave into them, you know, and thanked them for being there. I kind of enjoyed that because it made me feel good and felt like I was doing something for them and not just solely for myself. See, everybody's busy today. Nobody's in here yet. Currently working in Seattle, I work for a company called Learfield IMG College. We represent more multimedia right holders for college athletics. I've been in some form of sales ever since college. You know, whether it be life insurance. I was in the beverage industry for over 20 years, and then I decided to make a career change. So I went to work for a local radio station, primarily because they were the station of the UW Huskies football and basketball. And so I did the color for those. And after about the third year, I went, yeah, maybe I should go sell this stuff. Made a call, and the next thing I know, I got an interview. Next thing you know, I've got a job. For me personally, it's a win-win. I've lived here ever since college. I've gone to the games, I support the team, and of course I get to work with the UW, so it's perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to the ninth annual Sunny Six Killer Celebrity Golf Tournament. I just wanna say thanks to everybody being out here, and I wanna thank all those Huskies for taking the time out of your schedules to come out and be a part of this charity tournament, raise money for the local charity, all right? The golf tournament is really to help the, uh, the hospital in Port Angeles buy diagnostics or medical equipment that they don't have to travel to Seattle or some other city to get done. All right. Oh, right. Nice. That's how it really came about. The marriage of the Husky fan base and then me with the ties at the University of Washington. It was a perfect combination to, to put the golf tournament together. That's part of the deal. You know, you went to UW, you played football there, people know who you are, you gotta keep giving it back. Everybody always asks me, don't you get tired of people talking to you, grabbing you? I said, no, that's part of the deal. I, I think for me, I think that people around Seattle know I'm very proud of who I am, and I'm proud of that, proud of the fact that I'm, I am a Husky, proud of the fact I'm Cherokee, and nobody can ever take that away from me.